In a previous video, we used the shock quiz to determine what the recommendation was to, uh, in terms of fork settle based on the riding I did at Forest of Dean on this bike yesterday. Now, um, he came up with the, the front shock, or the rear, the rear shock, put more pressure in, so done that. Uh, for the front shock, it's um, asking for an, another volume spacer to be inserted. Now, that's a, a volume spacer uh, or a token. It's All it really does is just take some of the air volume out. And the idea is it makes the fork just a bit more progressive. So um, what I'm going to do, first of all, is just take all the air out of the fork. So with a 3 mil, I'm just going to... So you let the air out. Sometimes if you do these too quickly, they um, you end up with like goo coming out of the uh, the um, shader valve sometimes. So best do it a bit slower. And now to take off the top to get the air spacer in, um, you use a thirty-two mil uh, socket or a wrench or whatever else. If you are using a socket, it needs to be flat. And um, these are. Um, park tall ones, so very nice. Um, the 32mm fits both the uh, 36 and the 38, but if you're using a 34, you want a 26mm, I think, off from memory. And if you're uh, doing a 32, um, you want uh, probably smaller again. Um, also, in terms of Marzocchi forks, so the um, the Mozzotti Z1 is just a 36, so it'd be a 32 as well. But even though it uses the same, um, shit, even though it uses the same socket, um, they use different spacers. So the 36 spacers don't fit in a, a 38 fork or vice versa. Um, but yeah, just make sure you push down on it quite nicely as you uh, twist off and that your bike is completely secured against something. And, and not moving. So, just take that out. Yeah, always do this in a professional environment. So as you see, I've got one volume spacer in there at the moment. So what we're gonna do is just take the other one out of the pocket. We'll make sure it's completely clean. <whistles> that it's not wet or anything else. And we'll just slide that on, like so, clicks in. And then uh, I just thought I'd have a quick look um, at how much grease was in there whilst uh, this was off. And uh, yeah, typical um, factory, from factory, too much grease in there. But, you know, we deal with that at first service. No point dealing with it before. So we'll just uh, tighten this back in. Obviously, yeah, be careful not to cross thread or anything. The uh, threads are quite fine on these. Just put that back on. Um, how many millimeters of torque? <sighs> don't know. The same as when you took it off. You don't need to lean off it, but there, that's enough. Okay, now once you've done that, obviously pump your fork back up to where it was before. Um, sometimes when you add volume spacers, you may want to actually decrease the amount of um, pressure you put in. Um, it really depends on why you're putting um, tokens in or spaces. So if you're putting volume spaces in because you want it to be slightly pusher at the beginning of the travel, but harder when you ramp up, uh, and the reason you're putting them in is to get that pushness at the beginning, then, um, sorry, bear with me, then, um, uh, you probably want less pressure in. But if you're putting in um, tokens because you've blown through your travel and you want it to be harder to blow through the travel towards the end, then you probably want to at least put the same amount of pressure in to start with. So with one, the first condition, you want it more just it's because it's just not flush enough that you want it to at the beginning but you don't want to run through the travel. Um, probably start off with 10 PSI less than you had before. If it's um, because you've blown through your travel, just start with the same amount of pressure. And that's it. So I'm just going to uh, repressurize the fork now. Um, we'll reset the shock quiz and uh, 
next time I go out, it will analyse my riding and come up with other suggestions. Thank you.